Hi everyone, my name is April, and this is Thrifted Transformations, the show where I go thrifting for old clothing and transform them into something new. I found this dress from Savers for $10 and chose it because of the pretty floral print and the stretchy material that would be perfect to transform into a swimsuit. The top of the dress already looks like it could be a bikini top. I just have to separate it from the skirt and figure out what to do next. How do you know if the material would work for a swimsuit? Here are some things you should consider. Does the fabric have a lot of stretch? It should be able to stretch in two ways and even four ways. Is it transparent when it gets wet? This dress can be sheer when it's stretched out, but since I'm adding a lining, it'll be okay. Does your material feel heavy, change colors, or bleed colors when it gets wet? It's always a good idea to test out your material first before making your swimsuit. After detaching the skirt from the top of the dress, I separated the front and back so I can drape the pieces individually on my dress form. I'm draping a high-waisted bottom by pinning down the center front and slightly stretching it over to the side seam. Then I mark out the bikini bottoms. Using a bikini bottom I like, I fold it in half and trace it onto the fabric, lining it up where I marked it on my dress form, and then do the same thing to the back side. Since I still have a lot of material to use, I was able to cut out two more pieces to use as the lining. Face each front and back piece right sides together and sew down the side seams. When sewing a swimsuit, it's important to use polyester thread because it's stronger in chlorine than cotton. I wanted to try using stretchy thread like woolly nylon but I couldn't find any at the store. But definitely look into stretchy thread if you struggle with your seams popping. I also switch my stitch setting to a stretch stitch. And lastly, I make sure to switch my regular needle to a ballpoint needle. A ballpoint needle has a rounded tip, so it won't break the elasticity of the fabric. After the two bottoms are sewn, the lining bottom will be placed inside of the outside bottom, but we'll set this aside and work on the top first. I shorten the sides of the top and we'll be adding loops to lace the straps through. I first tacked the loops down on the lining and then regathered the top to fit the sides and sewed it down. After turning the top right sides out, I sewed the bottom closed to hold all the layers together. Next, face the two bottom layers right sides together so that the wrong side is showing on the outside and inside and sandwich the top of the swimsuit inside. But before doing so, I made sure to hem the center of the top where the cutout happens. I sewed everything together with a zigzag stitch to get the most stretch because the first time I sewed it with a stretch stitch and the thread popped when I tried it on and pulled it over my hips. Sewing with stretchy thread for this part would have been really helpful, but another thing I shouldn't have done was made the swimsuit so fitted all the way over my waist. Give yourself some room to slide it on and even if it's loose on top, you can always sew an elastic band at the seam to pull everything together. After sewing the swimsuit together, turn it right sides out through the leg holes. It seems a little confusing at first because you have two separate bikini bottoms sticking out, but just tuck the lining one inside and you're good to go. With what's left of the dress, I cut out a long strip that's one and a half inches wide to create the straps. To make the straps, you'll also need some elastic. I found some swimsuit elastic from Joanne, which won't become weak over time like regular elastic. The way I like to make my straps are very simple. Just sew the elastic along one side of the strip with either a zigzag stitch or your serger. After the elastic is sewn on, fold the strip over twice and zigzag stitch all the way down the center of the strap.
Trim the excess fabric as close as you can to the seam and that's it. Now I can attach it to the swimsuit. I left openings at the top for the straps, tucked them in between and top stitched them in place. I decided to sew a little loop at the middle of the top to exaggerate the shape even more. To do so, I cut out a strip that was 1.5 inches on fold and sewed down the side. Then turn the piece inside out, wrap it around the middle, and sew the ends right sides together. After it's sewn, flip the loop over so that the raw edges are now on the inside. Lastly, to hem the leg holes, I searched the edges first and then stretched and sewed some lightweight elastic all around. There's no reason as to why I wanted to use the lightweight elastic, I kind of just wanted to try it out to see if I liked it. I think it works really nice and because it's so thin, it won't add any bulkiness around the leg holes. I always make the mistake of stretching it too much and then the bottoms end up being too tight on me. So while you're sewing, just gently pull on the elastic as you sew. And then when you get to the butt area, you can pull it a little more. Because I still have some material left over, I decided to piece together a little skirt that can be worn with the swimsuit. To make the skirt, I cut out some curves like making a circle skirt, and then I sewed together the pieces at the sides. Then I stretched and sewed some elastic around the waist to hem the raw edges. And we're finished. Here is the final transformation. Every person could be you though